It's okay. coming up. All right. Interesting. Now let's go back to blockchain. Yep. So in a layman term or in an ABC format to somebody who don't know what blockchain is, how would you explain blockchain to somebody? Okay, it's a yeah. technology. Mm -hmm. I, will, <clears throat> I will first say that uh, we learned about it from Bitcoin. Uh, even Bitcoin had a social philosophy behind it. Yeah. And the, the idea behind Bitcoin was decentralized payment system. Mm. So it was uh, made just to, uh, just as a financial Store instrument or financial equipment, you can say. Okay. And slowly, it, it, like that idea of uh, decentralizing one ecosystem has propagated to decentralize everything. Hmm. That's why I believe that uh, on that idea like profoundly. Now, if you compare that thing with uh, social norms, the way we um, run or we live in the society, there are several uh, aspects to it. For example, finance for example, uh, logistics. So let's take an example of this uh, basic finance. Yeah. For earlier social systems, yeah. Yeah. it was uh, something like, uh, um, like I exchange this uh, mm. something which I have created, yeah. and against this I used to get something back. Uh, and they were quite need-based. Okay. Now the everything has changed into a proper mechanism of with, uh, with monetary system where money is used for any exchange. So whatever exchange you do, there is money as a like subtask associated with it. So that's where you mm -hmm. are exchanging money mm -hmm. with some asset, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So this is the value of that yeah. asset that you are exchanging through money. Right. Now with uh, um, that being there in in society, if I have to build something in technology, mm -hmm. then I need this blockchain technology. So okay. that's the decentralized way of living, okay. I would say, because that's how people used to live. And they tried to build a system where these information or uh, data can be stored on blockchain as a technology, yeah. and there will be a value associated with it. Right. When I say value, um, in an account, yeah. you keep the details of Bob took five euro from Alice, then that five euro is the data that you are storing and information is Bob took. Yeah. Now, if Alice is taking or giving back anything to somebody else, if there is there, then we do uh, some s certain amount of maths to have an account. And the same thing is stored there, which is public and transparent. Mm -hmm. There are challenges to these uh, systems as well. Yeah, and what are they at the moment? Uh, if you look at this uh, system, now everybody needs to have this information. Mm -hmm. If everybody has to need, the, have, need to have the information, then everybody needs to talk. Like uh, through digital communication, right. you are paying for it. Yeah. So you need electricity. So that makes the information passing slow. This is why there are several other options like for those uh, scalability. Security is a challenge as well. Okay. Why? Because so many uh, nodes or so many uh, involved parties have those information. And right. if one is uh, twigged, then there is a question to the security. Okay. And uh, to avoid that, there are certain mechanisms. Right. But still, we have so many hacks happening and okay. the, it, it is a continuous process. Yeah. Uh, it will be there, like hacks will be there. Okay. But uh, yes, this is still a challenge. Yeah. Um, I don't see any other problem to it. <laughs> yeah, right. um, uh, in consortium systems like uh, where like only few participants are involved, like there are new projects coming up like every day. Right, and every with day. Every day, it's new massive. projects coming up. So fast uh, like with that, yeah. uh, there is a challenge that there are few projects run by only few participants. Mm. When you have very less number of participants, you cannot trust them, and you cannot trust that product. You cannot trust that blockchain if it's a new one. So that's a challenge. So when you are, for example, if you are building a decentralized application and you yeah. need to find a blockchain, mm -hmm. I would say look at some uh, look at some blockchain, which is run by maximum number of uh, node operators or validators. Right. And that's and how would thing. how would that's interesting to hear? But how would somebody find that? What's the research process looks like? Uh, and also, is yeah. blockchain? Only for like bigger corporations or you know, uh, uh, or small startups or middle-sized companies can also adopt to that 
Is there a kind of a segment to to uh, the companies Very or organizations, or public organizations who can only adopt or who cannot adopt to blockchain? I think uh, going forward, uh, mm -hmm. it will be more like a service. It's a uh, service. Okay. It will be like it a service. Be. Like okay. now, if you look at this, there are like every day, like if I have to launch a blockchain, it's just few lines of code that I need to run. Okay. And I'll start a blockchain. And right. let's say I want to create some network like Bitcoin or some network like Ethereum. Yeah. I can, they're op open source code and I can just take yeah. them, make some few changes on my own and I can start it. All right. And I need to open source it and so many people need to adapt it and do it. But the idea behind this is, why do we need so many blockchains? Why do we need them? Yeah. yeah. So can we manage with only few? That is like yeah. a few profound ones. Yeah. Would if you? Yes, yes. Then we need to have a separate layer on top, mm -hmm. which can provide service on these chains. This is why I feel like in future, like not in future, like it's, it'll be in like in very recent years it will happen. Mm, there will be few trusted blockchain. Okay. Like if you look at the current scenario, there are several database companies, but are all of them successful? No. Like now, keep storing data has is a created as a service on multiple cloud platforms. Yeah. Similarly, it will be something like uh, blockchain, and there will be a service layer. Through service, people will be interacting. They don't need to know how many networks they are spawning in the uh, background and yeah. how they're running it. So that will create that easiness for every common people to adapt it right now it is looking tough because uh, people think oh it's a lot of code it's a lot of software programs uh, if you go back uh, 20 years back storing information was a tough challenge and when i say tough challenge there was no database people used to create files and mm -hmm. people used to store data in those files mm -hmm. Slowly, uh, we started, oh, we are able to store in file. Let's go to database. Now, from the database, we are creating so many different other Ledgers. services yeah. uh, on top of it for easiness. Right. How many of the, like, if you look at the mass uh, engineers, uh, they don't want to learn how it is storing. Okay, I'm storing. It's a reliable thing now. It's a database. I rely on the database. Uh, similarly, people will start relying, ah, it's just a blockchain. Okay. I have a service to uh, access it. I have a service to read data from it. Yeah. I need to give some value, like uh, some like exchange of tokens, yeah. and I'll be able to uh, read the information and run my business. It will be like that and like very... Smooth transition. Yeah, it, yeah. It's, uh, it's already there. There are so many blockchain service companies uh, yeah. uh, sprouting everywhere. Every. Can you name some uh, really the blockchain companies that you are or projects that you are very confident on? The uh, top four. I five. like Chainlink. Love listening to your use cases on uh, Chainlink. I for the, that was the first time my concepts got really clear on where thank Chainlink you. as an oracle yes. is useful. Yeah. So look at it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we will dive in uh, in a yeah. while about yeah. uh, like I'll take an example of one of those consensus algorithm, oh, and uh, I'll give you a like real scenario of uh, how these communication work in. Uh, and I won't uh, talk a lot in terms of technology. I'll use few words from technology and I'll try to relate them. Like if to the real life. a human being, like yeah. I'll, I won't use computer. I will say the program is your intelligence yeah. and the computer is a human being. So okay. let's talk in that way that so works. every human can understand. Perfect. So, um, yeah, chain link. Um, top four, I would say, um, yeah, I like uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Uh, my decent... Uh, choice uh, of this is now Polygon because I'm uh, working on something. Um, I'm trying to understand a lot about those layer two solutions and how they're implementing ZK rollups. Uh, I will talk a little about uh, ZK rollup, roll uh, uh, how that's going to work yeah. uh, <coughs> uh, in these ecosystems. Okay. And uh, yeah, Chainlink. Uh, I have uh, like... Um, done few research about uh, i was reading about arbitrum recently uh, why they are uh, so fast i mean to say intellectual conversation yeah. would lead to the progress of the society definitely and uh, i would have been sitting now in some bar or baking sun outside having a beer yeah uh, 
but it's fine that I'm here enjoying these yeah. talks with you. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. most importantly, uh, uh, if you mm. if you compare the older way of education system and the current education mm. system, yeah. uh, there is not something new coming out of it. There's like something new coming out. Yeah. So like. Right. Same thing is getting propagated to generation from generation. Okay. Uh, yes, mankind is trying to achieve that. And uh, if you keep on repeating the same information, imagine will the system develop more intelligence? No. No, no, no. So, then, so the more experience you have, mm -hmm. like the different perspectives you mm -hmm. try to see, this is why GPT or these uh, AI, uh, like large language models, mm -hmm. They need to be tested on different type of uh, perspectives, different mm. type of people, different type of societies uh, like existing in the whole world. Yeah. Then we can say uh, probably this happened. Yeah, we mm. are never 100%. We'll be always less by some percentage. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that mass adoption is needed. Mm. Once that happens, even that will bring revolution for blockchain area. Yeah. Because uh, more number of people will participate. True. And that will lead to the higher amount of decentralization. Absolutely. And uh, Very good point, mate. like that needs to develop over the time. Yeah. And the way I look at it is, uh, okay, we were living a way where uh, organizations were run by one person or maybe by three people, four people. And they were, for example, any traditional company, you look at it, uh, they are all run through few group of people like maybe five or six, like with some C-suit members, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But if you look at the current way of uh, running the organizations on blockchain, yeah. they are run by the participants. So everybody mm -hmm. has an equal right to talk about it. Right, right. We never lived that. Right, we now, never. Now we have started living it. Yes. So yeah. Equal participation, community-driven. Yes. Absolutely. Which is good. Yeah. And... Uh, Slowly, people will start adapting it. Like even when I talk to my father in these terms now, uh, it becomes quite difficult to make him understand that yeah. okay, systems are changing. True. Uh, because most of the most of his life, he has lived in one type of thing. Yeah. And if you look at me, I, I lived that, and slowly I have transitioned to this. When I learned about it, and I started talking about it, and. It changed my perspective for most of the things, even for a very small thing, I am uh, I'm not willing to uh, decide immediately, but I am trying to ask uh, other involved members as well. So it's just the way you live. Mm. Uh, so you need to live with that philosophy that, okay, you need to consult or you need to uh, validate some information with others and mm -hmm. then propagate it. So. Right. That's how we can achieve decentralization and slowly technology will adapt and everywhere it will happen. Right. Very nice. The, that's how yeah. I look at it right. at the moment. And uh, talking about the security of the information, mm -hmm. uh, which, I, which you asked earlier, yeah. 